Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Rahul and in this video, we'll be looking at how you can exploit an LFI to gain a or escalate it to a remote code execution. Now, this is not always possible, depends upon the configuration of or how the config or how the web server is configured, but we'll be looking at few methods that you could try to get a remote code execution. So if you see here that if I were to send this message, you will see that we get the normal uh, dog a picture of a dog. But what if, if I were to type in dog123 or let's just type it here, dog123, you will see here that I have an include command in the application. Now what it does is it automatically appends the .php towards the end. Now, if you see here, the version of the PHP being used is 7.4.3. Now, after the version 5, it was not possible to append a null byte towards the end of the uh, parameter. Now, what the null byte did was, if you append a dot .php towards the end, this null byte would automatically, you know, nullify it. So, you could exploit an LFI quite easily. Now, because I was able to exploit it with the help of five uh, PHP file wrappers and you can try to do it as well. I saw here that it, the application is being is using a external parameter and that parameter is ext. Now the name of the room is dogcat. You can also try it on try hack me. So I'll be telling you how you can exploit a um, LFI. So here if I add a dot, if I were to add a parameter ext what it will do is as you can see it is not adding a dot php towards the end so this is one of my findings that i was able to do so what if if i were to do this etc password now because i have added a dot uh, an external parameter and i have supplied null to it it would not add a dot php towards the end and i'll be able to traverse in the directory and get an LFI. Now this is simple and if you were to find this in a bug in a bug in some of the application you can obviously report it but one of the ways in which you can escalate it to get a better bounty is by getting it by getting a remote code execution. Now this is not always possible but let's just try it for a while. So var law I know that this is an Apache server and one of the things that I can try to do is to look in the log files. So how the log files are da configured in a Apache server is that it the PHP because it is a PHP server it, the language being used is PHP. So if I were to access the log file, the PHP parser will interpret it. So what do I mean by that? So let's just see APAC Apache access dot log. Now if had it the, had this been an nginx server, I would have looked into the nginx directory and for the nginx log files. Now if I were to send this you'll see that I won't get anything. But let's just try Apache 2. And you'll see here that these are my log files. Now what happens is you'll see that my request is getting sent, which is this. And along with that, my IP address and the user agent. Now, as you can see, this is Macintosh, which I've changed it manually. This is Macintosh, as you can see. So what if I were to add a PHP command in here and it would get executed because we know that this would um, this is parsed by the PHP part interpreter. So let's just try a PHP shell or I would add a PHP. I would add up another parameter. So let's just try PHP system CMD. So let's just look into this for a while. So as you can see, I have added the PHP brackets. So this would be a PHP code that would get executed. Now in many of the applications, this is disabled by default. So what you can try here is you can try shell exec. Either you can try shell exec, you can try exec and there's another I don't remember it quite clearly. I think it is it begins with T. So you can try that as well. So for the sake of this, uh, um, this room, I'm trying system. So what it does is what this does is it is expecting a CMD parameter, which I'll be adding in here and it is going to be a get parameter. So I have added get and what it will do is it will fetch the value that I provide to that parameter. It would give it to system and this would end up executing it. So let's just try 
and CMD is equal to LS. So, let us just send it once, let us send it again and you will see that I get this. So, this is one of the ways in which you can exploit an LFI to get a remote code execution. Now, this will not be always possible. So, what you can try to do is you can also try if FTP is active on the server. So, you can also try to you know exploit this by going to the active uh, by going to the FTP logs. Now, if this was not possible, you can also go to error.log. But for the sake of this room, you won't find anything much there. You'll see that it only has the Apache and PHP version listed, and there is no other entry that you can exploit it to get a remote code execution. So thank you guys. This is it for the video. I hope you liked it.